In the computing space, laptops continue to be the central option for day-to-day -day work and productivity, content creation, gaming, and communication. Today, we're looking at MSI's new Prestige 16 AI Evo A1M, which not only improves the usual specs such as graphics, performance, battery life, and connections, but builds itself around Intel's new 14th generation processors and Evo platforms. Just going by the name alone, there's a lot to unpack here, AI being top of the order. So let's take a quick look at the Prestige and what the 14th gen lineup brings to the table. So where do I start? The Prestige 16 AI Evo is a beautiful combination of power, design, and some of the latest processing, connectivity, and display technologies that make it one of the most versatile laptops I've seen in a while. Don't let the size fool you. MSI's crammed a lot in here. At only 3.31 pounds, the laptop is very light, especially for this 16-inch model you see here. And since it's built around the latest iteration of Intel's Evo platform, the Prestige features Wi-Fi 7 connectivity and Thunderbolt 4 ports, so both your wireless and wired options are literally the fastest you can get. Intel's 14th gen lineup, which we'll dive into in a little bit, is at the heart of the performance improvements inside. But the design itself also contributes to new power savings features. Add in the new generation of integrated GPU cores, and you'll also see improved gaming performance and GPU accelerated performance as well. So we have it open here, and you can see that the 16-inch OLED screen is the real eye catcher. One thing you'll notice right away is its 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is, in my opinion at least, ideal for computers in general. You get a little more height for productivity, design, and web browsing. Creatives in particular will love this screen though, as it's capable of 100% DCI-P3 rendering and is Display HDR 500 certified with true black levels, thanks to the OLED panel. So let's talk about the 14th gen CPUs. In this model, we're looking specifically at the Core Ultra 7 155H, and the naming schemes here for the 14th gen have changed quite a bit. Let's get technical for a moment. In the past two generations, Intel has adopted a hybrid approach of having both performance cores and efficiency cores, which traded off workloads to give you extra power when you needed it, or to save battery life when the computer wasn't doing that much. With the 14th generation, they've taken it a step further with new low power efficiency cores. In the 155H, you'll find 16 total cores, six being performance cores, eight being efficiency cores, and the remaining two as low power efficiency cores. The performance cores, for those wondering, are the only ones with hyperthreading, giving the CPU a maximum of 22 threads. And with a maximum boost clock speed of 4.8 gigahertz, the CPU can really crank up when you need it. The big news with the 14th gen though has to be the new NPU or neural processing unit. This is something we haven't seen on any Intel platform before, and with the exploding use of AI and machine learning applications, it was only a matter of time before we saw this functionality move to dedicated processing units. Until now, most AI-driven software has relied on traditional GPUs to accelerate the workload. And while GPUs are generally much faster than CPUs at these tasks, they consume a lot of power. For locally run AI software, meaning something that you don't access the internet for, this isn't really ideal, especially for laptops. The power draw drains the battery and the GPU can get pretty hot. An NPU, on the other hand, is custom built for these tasks and draws much less power, generating a lot less heat. Now, practically speaking, we don't have many applications ready as of this video to demo the MPU in action, but MSI will provide their AI artist tool in the near future, and that can indeed leverage the NPU to locally create AI-generated images. Going forward, I'm sure we can expect updates and optimizations to other AI-driven software to utilize the NPU as opposed to just the GPU. So it'll be interesting to see some benchmarks in the coming months. Lastly, for the 14th gen, we cannot forget about the update to the ARC graphics. With support for 4K at 60Hz over HDMI and up to 8K at 60Hz over DisplayPort, you can easily push secondary monitors with this thing. Hardware decode and encode for numerous video formats, including the latest AV1, makes this a powerful option for video editors. And the 8XE cores and ray tracing support should make it a competent mobile gaming PC as well. So, back to the laptop itself. The design, as you can see, is marvelous. The solid magnesium aluminum alloy chassis is a seamless metal body, and it feels very solid in the hand. The laptop is also very thin, with dimensions of just 14.11 by 10.02 by 0.75 inches, and the body tapers off at the end. Connections are generous on the Prestige 16, but they're not arranged in the usual way. The majority of them are actually on the backside, including the HDMI 2.1 port, 
USB 3.2 Type-A port and two Thunderbolt 4 ports with full DisplayPort and USB-C Power Delivery 3.0 charging support. Now on the right side, you'll find a combination 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a micro SD card reader, and a collapsible RJ45 ethernet port maintaining the laptop's slim profile. And on the left side, you'll find a Kensington lock. Now, as I was saying before, the OLED screen is just beautiful. Let's take a look. If you're gonna use this for media creation, photo editing, or even just watching movies, everything looks crisp with excellent contrast due to the perfect black levels. The chiclet style keys feel soft to the touch, and the backlit keyboard makes it easier to type in darker environments. Oh, did I mention there's a full numpad here? You'll love to see it. So that's about it for the MSI Prestige 16 AI Evo A1M. I'm a big fan of the Prestige line for its combination of CPU power and connectivity all in a very slim form factor, and the continued use of a 16 by 10 OLED screen. It just speaks to me. The availability of Thunderbolt 4 alone gives it the kind of I.O. you usually only see on workstation laptops. And inside, Intel's 14th gen CPUs bring some major architectural changes that in the coming months should be pretty fascinating to really put to the test. So let us know how you could use the Prestige 16 AI Evo A1M in the comments below. I'm Doug with b and and I'll see you next time.